So now that we've learned the accounting equation, we're going to show you how business activities uh, display our accounting equation. So here in part one or question one says Steve wants to start a lawn mowing business called Lawn Company. Steve invests $15,000 in cash into the business called Lawn Company. Now here's our accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So first off we're going to look here at the 15000 in cash. So the company increased cash by 15000 because Steve invested $15,000 in cash. And cash is an asset as we learned in the last video. So cash is going to go under assets. And since 15000 was put into the company, cash is increased by $15,000. Now, the company is now worth 15000 because assets are worth $15,000. And Steve is the one who invested in the company. So Steve is going to be our capital account. And we remember capital account is under owner's equity. So it's going to be Steve Capital. And the company is now worth 15000 So Steve Capital will be increased by $15,000. Now let's break the equation down into two parts. A left side and a right side. So assets are on your left. And liabilities and owner's equity are on the right side. Let's make sure that our equation balances so we can move on. So on the left side we have 15,000. And on the right side all we have is 15,000. So if 15,000 equals 15,000 then our equation is balanced and we can move on. And 15,000 does equal 15,000 so we can move on. Now we have part two. Lawn company purchases $5,000 worth of equipment with cash. Let's show our accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So let's look at the value first, and it's $5,000. Now let's look for any assets, liabilities, or owner's equity in the equation, or in the sentence. So the first one we'll recognize is cash, and we know that that's an asset. And then the next one that we see is equipment, and that's an asset. So it looks as if the only side that of the equation that's going to be changed is the left side, which is assets, which is fine. So let's look at cash. So we have cash under assets, and we purchased $5,000 worth of equipment with cash. So when we bought that equipment, we got rid of five thousand dollars worth of cash because we had to pay the business for that so we're going to decrease our cash account by five thousand dollars next we have equipment so now our company has five thousand dollars worth of equipment and equipment is under assets so we show equipment and now that we have equipment we gain something so we're gonna add five thousand to the equipment account. So now let's break this down into the left and right side again. We remember the asset side is the left side, liabilities and owner's equity is the right side. So let's look at the left side first. Minus 5,000 plus 5,000 gives you a net zero change on the asset side. We didn't do anything to liabilities or owner's equity, so there's a zero on this side. So there was a zero change on the asset side and there was a zero change in the liabilities and owner's equity. So this account, your transaction, is still balanced. That's learning how to account for buying equipment with cash. Now part three is lawn company buys supplies for $15,000 on account from flight supplies company. So here's our accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So let's look at this. Our company, lawn company, buys supplies, which if we 
if we remember from the first video is an asset so supplies is an asset and the value is 15,000 and on account here means that we're borrowing the money for a short time to pay for this so we as a lawn company comes into the store flight supplies company and we take fifteen thousand fifteen hundred dollars of supplies from the company and we don't pay for it yet but we are going to owe them so the first thing that we're gonna look at is supplies because we know it's an asset so under assets we have supplies and we bought the supplies so we now have more supplies so we're going to increase our supplies account by fifteen hundred dollars now we were talking about the on account part and we remember that if we get a product and we don't pay for it yet that that's an accounts payable and if we remember the on account accounts payable is going to be a liability so here we'll put liability. So under liabilities we have accounts payable. And now since we didn't owe anybody any money before, but now we owe them $1,500, it's going to be an increase in our accounts payable. So we add $1,500 to accounts payable. Now let's break this down into a right and left side again to make sure that we're balanced. There's our line. Make the left and the right side. So on our left side, we have 1500. And on our right side, all we have is 1500. So if 1500 equals 1500, then our equation is still balanced. And it is. So we'll write balanced down at the bottom. The fourth transaction that we're going to look at is lawn company receives $1,000 cash from customers for mowing lawns. So here's our accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So let's look at the sentence. The value is going to be $1,000. There's going to be cash. So our company now has $1,000 more in cash. So cash is an asset, so we're going to have cash underneath assets, and we received the thousand, so it's an increase of one thousand dollars. Now what other account do we have to value here to make our equation equal? Well it's from customers, so we received one thousand dollars cash from customers for mowing lawns. So they're paying us for our service, and that's going to be revenue. If we remember correctly, revenue goes underneath owner's equity, and that increases owner's equity. So here, we're going to have Steve Capital, and we're going to increase it by $1,000 because our net worth is now more because we've received $1,000 cash. So let's break this into a right and left side. Assets are here on our left and we have 1,000 and over here on the right side all we have is 1,000 again. So 1,000 equals 1,000 so our transaction is balanced. Now part 5 says that lawn company receives a bill for $250 from the newspaper for advertising but postpones payment until a later date. So here is our accounting equation assets equal liabilities plus owners equity. Now let's look at our statement or sentence here. We receive a bill so that means we're gonna have to pay but we haven't yet and it's gonna be a value of two hundred fifty dollars from the newspaper for advertising so it's gonna be an advertising 
expense. Now, an expense goes under owner's equity. And an expense decreases your owner's equity. But there's a but statement here and it says but we postpone payment until a later date. So it's going to be on account we've received the advertising but we haven't paid for it yet. And that means that we have an accounts payable. Accounts payable is under liabilities. And so now we owe someone $250 that we didn't before. So that's an increase of $250 under accounts payable. Now for our advertising expense is under owner's equity and it decreases it. And our account under owner's equity is Steve Capital. So now that we owe money to somebody, that means that we will have less of that later. So we have to account for it now and we will decrease Steve Capital by $250. And we'll break this down into a right and left side. So assets are on the left, liabilities, owner's equity on the right. On the asset side, the left side, we have a zero change. On the liabilities and owner's equity side, we have a plus 250, minus 250, and that nets out to be a zero change also. So we know that both sides are still equal to each other, so our transaction is balanced.